end of the day, there is no justification. There is no justification for somebody to pull a gun out. And that he pulled it out around a crowd of children. Those are all children. If he is a police officer, he should know better. Analyst police say the incident stems from an ongoing issue of the kids walking across the officer's property. A child should not be handled like that. Like, as a child, like, as a young person myself, like, I'm being empathetic towards that situation. It's appalling. It's disgusting. There are several videos of the incident circulating on social media. You see the cop as a 13-year-old boy by the shirt. When another boy charges the officer and knocks the cop over some bushes, the cop then drags the boy over the bushes. When other teens start surrounding them, the cop takes out his gun and it goes off. No one was struck or hurt. Here's another video towards the start of the confrontation. Anaheim police say the 13-year-old boy allegedly threatened to shoot the off-duty officer, prompting him to attempt to detain the teen. The 13-year-old and a 15-year-old were arrested but released. We spoke to the 13-year-old and his mother as they left the juvenile detention center today. He tackled me and he wrestled me and he had me and he took me like this on the ground. And then I managed to like, escape it. But it took me right there and then we... And then he had me, still had me on, but I, I pushed him, I was like, keep up pushing him. Someone came to shot him, trying to let, make him let go of me. And then he, that's when he, he was trying to pull me and he shot the gun near me. Tonight, hundreds gathered on the block to protest the cop pulling a gun. One kid spray painted the wrong house. We asked the kid who was holding the spray can, why? Why did you put paint on someone's house? Okay, well, that house that you just saw at the end of my story, that was actually just an innocent victim's house uh, where the incident happened to take place in front of. Now, down here, we're, we have come down the block, and we've maneuvered. We're in front of that off-duty uh, LAPD officer's home. You can see now that they've spray-painted his garage um, using profanity. And then they've also, look, they, they broke uh, the, the front windshield here. And then, uh, Greg, if we pan over here, you can see that they also broke some windows in his house. And um, Officer Wyatt was uh, from Anaheim PD said that they were also trying to get into this off-duty officer's home. So things have become pretty unruly down here. You can hear the choppers above me. They're still telling everyone, you must disperse or you will be arrested. So uh, as I look around here, it looks like most people are heeding that warning and going home at this point. Um, Anaheim police tell us that the off-duty LAPD officer, that he has been fully cooperating with their investigation. I also spoke with LAPD officials. They say they're conducting their own investigation. They're going to be uh, reporting then to the police chief and also uh, the commissioners uh, for, to give them their evaluation. And at this point, that off-duty officer is on administrative leave. For now, reporting live here in Anaheim, Mary Beth McDade, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Uh, okay.